Episode 231, A New Venture. On the same day, David Sullivan, with a face like thunder, left the restaurant, together with Brent and Kaylee. After this, Kaylee did not dare to ask Olivia anything again. In the long years that followed, she was subsumed with regret. If only she had listened to Olivia that day. If only she had not thrown away the chance to work with Aiden. On that day, as she had promised, Shannon Pierce quietly found a seat in the restaurant. She tasted the delicious milk tea and slowly chewed and swallowed the premium apricot and carrot cake. It's no wonder that this restaurant has become so popular so quickly. These products have played a large part, she thought. I heard they were invented by the owner. That's interesting. Between mouthfuls, Shannon also found the opportunity to talk to several waiters. When she heard of Olivia's education, she almost choked on her tea. The waiters were from Westfield University? How ruthless is this Aiden to get staff like this to work for him? Shannon had always been indifferent to staff matters, but even she began to wonder. She spent a whole day in the restaurant, learning about how it worked and all about Aiden. But with this greater understanding, she began to realize the scale of Aiden's problems. The whole operation of night food seemed simple, but there was much more to it than what was apparent on the surface. Aiden's position rose in Shannon Pierce's estimation. She revised her original conservative investment plan upwards again and again, increasing the amount she planned to invest. In the next few days, Shannon came to the restaurant promptly every morning, ordered tea and cake, and sat there for the whole day. But Aiden had no time to look after the stubborn woman. A week had passed and he was about to start his own new life as a bodyguard. On Monday morning, Aiden arrived at the foot of Lovelace Mountain in the northern suburbs early in the morning, waiting to take Dora to school. Soon, Anthony Kay would bring Dora with him to meet Aiden there. Dora was delighted with the plan. When she had heard that her favorite Aiden was going to take her to school, she was so excited she couldn't sleep all night. Early that morning, John and Anthony Kay had helped her choose what clothes to wear. Dora wanted to look as pretty as possible for Aiden. After she had hugged him as if she would never let him go, she asked, Aiden, do you like my skirt? She was dressed in a white tulle skirt like a princess and a denim jacket with her favorite cartoon character. Proud of this outfit, she twirled in front of Aiden, looking as delicate and lovely as a doll. It's lovely, Dora. You'll be the belle of Bayside when you grow up, Aiden answered, smiling. <laughs> Dora was amused, and her silver bell-like laugh spread across the valley beneath the silent mountain. Looking at Dora with a broad smile, Anthony Kay congratulated himself on a very astute decision. He looked at Aiden steadily. His heart moved. Aiden, I'm entrusting Dora to you. Aiden smiled, but noticed the empty space next to Anthony Kay. In the past, there had always been a beautiful figure sitting there. And Miss Gardner? He asked. Oh, She's not feeling well at the moment. She's staying in the mountains to recuperate. Dora's school was an innovative primary school, reputed to be the best in Bayside. It was in the cast of the city, but Anthony Kay was traveling to the next county on business, so they separated at the foot of Lovelace Mountain. Aiden and Dora went happily on to the city, not noticing that in the shadows behind them, a pair of sullen eyes were quietly watching them. <laughs>